and that, that's the thing that I don't get about the United States and our policy towards Israel. Okay, if it's such a good idea, why don't we do it here? Let's give the Israelis a homeland here that'll be Jewish only, and if you're not Jewish, you have to get out. Palestine obviously had nothing to do with the Holocaust. We're obviously doing this in part because of the Holocaust. They wouldn't be close to Jerusalem and all that stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but, then, but then you say, well, so then it's a religious thing, but most Zionists will go, no, this isn't about religion. And it's like, well, if it's not about religion, then why do you want to be so close to Jerusalem? Clearly it's about religion. But then, it's, but then they say, no, I'm, I'm an atheist, or I'm a secularist Jew, and I'm, I'm a Zionist. And it's like, well, then why did it have to be Jerusalem? This was our homeland. This was your homeland? You're 2,000 years old? The problem is, is if you said, okay, we're going to create a new, a new state, and it'll be secular. It's not for one religion anymore. It'll be a democracy, secular, and there'll be rights for all minorities. But if you did it, suddenly there'd be 13 million Palestinians who are Christian and Muslim. I think it's like 10, 10% Christian, 90% Muslim. And then there'd be 6 million Jews. So the Jews would become an instant minority in that state. And they don't want that to happen. That's why they're fighting the Palestinians. They're not fighting the Palestinians because the Palestinians are attacking them. The Palestinians aren't attacking them. They're fighting the Palestinians because they don't want to have Palestine integrated with them because they'll instantly lose their majority. There are actually 7 million Palestinians living in Palestine and Israel. But 5 million are confined to the concentration camp that, that we call the Gaza Strip. It's just a concentration camp. And then the ghetto that we call the West Bank. It's basically a bunch of little ghetto pockets. And, and, and so by doing that, what the Israelis have done is they've created a situation where the natives are in internal exile. Right? They're, they're still in Palestine. They're just not in their homes. Their homes are in Haifa or, or, or Jaffa or Jerusalem. And so they're displaced inside their own country as a majority, but with no rights to citizenship. It, it's, this is like the most nasty thing since apartheid Israel apartheid South Africa. It might, might be worse than apartheid South Africa in some ways. But then, it's, but then they say, no, 